Morning mates. What a beautiful day, eh? It's a bit of sea fretting, uh, but it's clearing up. The sun's coming out, peeking over the clouds. It's early doors. I think it's about eight o'clock, but I'm an early riser. I was up at five this morning. So I've had, uh, yeah, plenty of time on my hands to do whatever. <laughs> got a busy day today. Uh, yeah, I've got a cottage to clean. I've got some laundry to do. I've got some new um, guests arriving uh, this afternoon. They're coming for a week. I'm hoping they're going to get some good weather. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So I'm on Langbourne Road, um, just at the side of the co-op, and uh, you may remember uh, there used to be a, a bit of a the Star in the Harbour. That's what it was called. It was the old Whitby Tourist Information Centre, and it was turned into a restaurant. And I went two or three or four times, and uh, I wasn't overly impressed, to be honest with you. I'll leave it there. Um, Anyway, it shut down <laughs> and it lay empty for a while and I feared that, you know, it wasn't going to take note because it's a big building and uh, it's going to take a lot of filling. Um, but yeah, uh, a company, they already have a place in Scarborough, it's called the Pescado Lounge, P-E-S-C-A-D-O, Pescado Lounge and they've been doing it up, I think it was due to open in April I think I'm not sure but they've now got an opening date of the 29th of May of this month um, they still look like they've got an awful lot of work to do to me but um, who knows uh, you know with a, a team of cracking workmen in there they'll probably get it all sorted in the next three weeks ready for opening on the 29th good luck to them uh, we'll see what it's gonna be like so I'll give you a quick whiz round I'll show you what it's uh, it's gonna be about um, I think it's a bit like um, I liken it a bit to Weatherspoons. Uh, they're going to do food, they're going to do drinks, they're going uh, to they, they do everything. Cocktails, you, you mentioned it, tapas, burgers, everything like that. I think they're going to be a little like a bit of a community place, you know, where uh, hopefully they're, they're probably uh, wanting the locals to join in as well. I don't know what the pricing is going to be like on the beer, uh, the wine, and all the rest of it, and the food in particular. We shall see. Um, I don't know, the die is cast, it's going to be what it is, they're looking for staff, um, good luck to them in Whitby, because staff are at a premium here, and uh, yeah, 29, so when it's open, me and Mrs M will be coming down for a couple of uh, vino collapsos, we might even have a bite to eat, we'll see, we might let the, uh, the first couple of days quiet down, I'm not sure what day the 29th is, um, Mm, don't matter. Anyway, let's get this twizzle round and see if we can do it all in a one -er. We might be able to. Right, come on, let's get over. Don't get run over. Here we are. So yeah, it used to be... Look, I'll show you this bit first. This will probably uh, jog your memory. The Star in the Harbour, the Harbour Whitby. And that that little bit there, bar bait, sort of said it all about this place, it, you know. And it was very expensive, to say the least. Uh, restaurant daily specials, fish and chips, of course, which I didn't think were eight good, but that's just me. Uh, local seafood, and yeah, they're supposed to specialise in seafood. Star in the Harbour, you have arrived at the Seafood Brasserie and Grill. Yeah, well, they're no longer here. So uh, these are the stickers on the windows. We pride ourselves on having the best hospitality team around and on the lookout for our next superstars. I don't know whether these are part of the hospitality team or not. Maybe. <laughs> so they're going to do buggers. They're going to do... Jammy scones. They're gonna do that, whatever it is. I don't know what that is. Um, fried eggs seem to appear in a lot, don't they? Pancakes, ciabatta with I don't know, bacon and eggs, sausage and eggs. Lovely young lady mixing some cocktails. Pescado Lounge is coming soon. Our lounge will be home from home, offering delicious food and drinks Hello. all day, every day. Morning, hey up. 
Hey up Josh, morning. Some at local lads out and about. Don't know where they're all going. None of my business, is it? So as you can see, it's a big building. It's a war memorial here. You know where we are, I don't need to tell you that. Star in the harbour, so yeah. Goodness me, they've got a lot to do. But it's like all these things, you know, you get into it and then it all starts falling into place, doesn't it? But they've ripped out everything. They've ripped out all the, the floors, the walls, the lot, everything. So, um, yeah, it should be quite good. I was going to go and film around there, but there's a bloke looking uh, a bit <laughs> menacing. <laughs> Yeah, and I've had enough of uh, people getting uh, angry with me. I've had it again. Same couple shouting and bawling at me. I've got them again, so uh, hopefully that's going to calm down. I said to them, look, you know, this is not good for anybody's health. Why don't we just... Clearly you don't like me, and that's fair enough. But let's not uh, let's not be carrying on all the time, eh? Anyway, there you are. Pescado Lounge... Langbourne Road, that's the main entrance, or I think that's going to be the main entrance. When I saw the drawings, um, they had some drawings somewhere. I, I, didn't, I wasn't digging them out, I wasn't searching them. I just saw them somewhere. And I thought what they were going to do was this bit here. Just take you around. I thought what they were going to do was that this bit was knock this out and have an entrance coming in here. But I could be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong, but I do think I saw some plans showing that that were going to come out and there was an entrance going in there, but who knows, there's an entrance there. I don't know whether that'll open up. There's a main entrance around here. I'll show you. Well, I've shown you. That one there where it says Star in the Harbour, that place there used to be an ice cream parlour. Star in the Harbour all the same, but it was their ice cream parlour, but that wasn't a good idea. That never took off. And this, I believe, is the uh, the main entrance. I'll try and get out of that sun. So that's it, chums. Langbourne Road. Here we are. Around Whitby. Another beautiful day. I've got loads to do, so... Uh, yeah, let's twizzle it round. Come on, see if we can do it. Yes. <laughs> so that's it, mates. I, I hope you enjoyed the little video. Uh, 29th of May. Uh, sometime around that day, uh, once it's open, I'll come down and uh, give you a little look, see around the place, and hopefully it's uh, it's a, it's a big success, and hopefully it's employing lots of people from Whitby and paying them some good wages. That's what we want to see. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. That would be absolutely fandabby dozy. I'll see you later. Keep well. Chin chin.